Well, with the snow behind us, the concern now turning to those frigid cold temps and a windy weekend weather with the potential of power outages. Valerie, I spoke to PPL and MedEd. They expect outages and their crews will be working to restore power quickly, but they're telling customers be as prepared as possible. This is an unusually potent winter storm, especially for this early in the season. Utility companies in the mid-state are bracing for power outages this Christmas weekend. A couple of elements that make it particularly dangerous. The weather will be extremely cold with wind chills below zero and extremely windy with gusts possibly up to 50 miles an hour. Trees blow over, branches come in, down into the lines. MedEd's Todd Myers says these conditions mean outages are likely, but crews are ready to restore power as quickly as possible. They will be working straight through the holiday until the last customers back on. PPL is gearing up too. It's even preparing to call on assistance from other states. But with something like this, we want to make sure that we're extra prepared, especially with the holiday season. We want to restore everyone's power as quickly as possible. But both companies are asking people to be patient. The ugly weather makes things difficult for their crews too. This could be some very icy road conditions. And when you get to the area around 40 miles an hour, we can't safely go up in buckets. In the meantime, their advice is to be as prepared as possible for an outage. Make sure that your devices are charged. You have flashlights, you have your phones charged. PPL and MedEd say customers should get an emergency kit together and find safe ways to stay warm. Make sure you have food, water, medicine, pet supplies. Make sure you have uh, warm blankets and sleeping bags. And even if you don't see their crews, know they're working. They're working on getting the fixes done that get the largest number of customers back on first. Another reminder from utility companies, generators can be a useful backup if you lose power, but make sure you don't run them in an enclosed space like a garage or a basement. That can cause a buildup of carbon monoxide.